Hello, hello, back again. It's me, Edgar from Cremona, Italy. Violin making here in its best form. And if you search for the right instrument, here you are at the right address. Today, I wanted to show you how to change a string. Usually, a string is breaking. Let's say we take this one here. Boing! and it's broken okay and so still and the string is broken and oh damn there's one string is missing okay so then you take the first string which happens to you we have four strings check out that you get to fetch out of these strings the right string in case there is a broken part here or here just take it out carefully okay then make sure that you have the right string at the right position e a d G. We take out of this here the string. Boing. Now string has one end, with usually with a ball end, and one is loose, right? You put it into the tailpiece. This ball end works into it. You go with it in the front, pull it up, and it is already inside. Yeah. Make sure it stays at its position. Goes along the bridge over in here. Now is a great time to put some pencil. Try to use only pencil with my name on it, and you just make a little bit pencil here. Some people say you have to put a lot of pencil on the bridge. I doubt that it will slip on a bridge, but you know, they love to paint with a, with a pencil everywhere. I don't like it that much. And then you go into the bag in this tiny hole, but you leave the peg inside, you pull in the string. Yeah, you go into this tiny hole, work about a centimeter, which is like the size of a finger. You go through it and then you start turning on. You go first to the narrow side of the bridge for one or two turns and then you go to the other side to the larger side of the peg okay at the time when you turn the ray two or three times then the string is actually already on and then it looks like this you're ready to tune the instrument And it works all perfect if you respect a few things. Now comes the detailed information what to look at. There are a few tiny things which you have to pay attention. One thing is that the pegs are turning well. And if the pegs don't turn well, it's time to put on some peg dope. Another thing is I had here now the third string. If it would be now the first, the, the G or the E string, the first or the fourth string, then it's a little bit more tricky and then I have here these tweezers just to fetch that string in this tiny area but it would be also impossible that you'd lose up the third string put it aside put the fourth string on and then put the third string back pay attention that here this ball end is in its right position very often people show up and this ears is close to the edge that it is coming down here on the upper nut the string actually has to slip and this with the nice pencil is always a great part now you can already turn off because you know already everything okay you're better than a violin maker but i probably would stay tuned for a little bit lower and then you get to know how this whole thing actually works to show you that we have to go a little bit and make a short theory lesson if you want to become a violin maker you can always you're still in time to sign up to my violin making academy edgar's online violin academy as something really great now what's this okay we look now like this to the peg box okay <laughs> Okay, this here is now the upper nut, this part here. And we have four springs, right? We have one here, we have one here, and one here. Yeah, these notches should be somehow a little bit like this. Then we have the pegs inside, okay? And then this is the G string. Here comes the E string. Let's say here the E string, or the first string, and this is the fourth. We call it first, come on, we call it first and we call this fourth important part is usually that if you have now a hole in a either case the hole where you put in the string should be slightly more to the thicker side on a new instrument but on your instrument probably it's a little bit more on this side let's say it is here here comes the g string 
should end actually at this area in this area this should be the line the final one and then it is winded up but now when you put in the string here you go first from here to this side here you do like one or two times here and then you go that it ends up here that's the reason is that these pegs because they're a cone need to be pulled inside here okay they need to go in here if they go out it's loosening up same thing with the first string here comes the first string goes here and then goes to this area to the large part of the pack and not to the narrow you go in here you make like one two and then duck 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 and then you wind it up here next to this and that's a little bit the game every instrument is slightly different and you try to come at the very end when it's tuned that it is very close to the side where you twist so even here it is pulling a little bit more inside the opposite would be that this one is here and if it is like this it would push out the peg and that's exactly what you do not want to have and the peg though when you put it on just makes it that the peg where it is touching here in the peg box has a certain kind of friction and is keeping exactly the peg in the right position without loosening it up and that makes that the violin keeps its tune as i told you violin viola cello even on the double bait and the cello pegs tune just the same way as viola violin this high tension of 140 kilograms on the cello is actually keeping with this system of this cone and this peg dope and friction cello pegs turn a little bit more difficult and people are used to have it more difficult but the peg itself is a little bit bigger same thing if the string goes to the right direction to the thicker part of the peg then it works easy properly can you see that how these pegs are and where the string always goes to the larger area of every peg that's the key point when it comes to changing the string now i show you on the double bass in order to make it look a little bit easier for you to see these are these viennese traditional uh, machine heads for the double bass the wooden part here is like a peg which has then here all this mechanism to be tuned and you always try to go with the fourth string to this large with this one to this large second string and first string and i think it's very clear and then it's easy to tune even with the machine heads i hope this is a good informative video if you have some questions about it right below i will answer and don't forget the description section because in there there's the most important information first of all in case you haven't signed up you see what all i offer from patreon where you can learn a lot and if you want to grade up and you want to build your own instrument then you have to sign up to my violin making academy or if you just simply want a new instrument and you want to see what i'm making then go to my webpage violincellomaker.com of course is probably the best uh, site to see what we do and you can also listen to the instruments and we ship them worldwide and the quality we offer is a step-by-step -step procedure to obtain the highest quality possible for your money hope you like this video hope to see you soon subscribe tell your friends ciao ciao bye bye